Hello, this is Catherine from Accelerated Reader. Today, I will be reading Bad Caterpillar, story by Suvi Chisholm, illustrations by Chiara Cordet. Before I begin reading, I would like to give a big thanks to the author for sending me this book to read on my channel. In the description below, I have included links where you may find and purchase this book, as well as activity pages that go along with this book. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bad Caterpillar For my family, whose ongoing love and support helped me change for the better, even on my most grumpy days, and to my wise and kind kitty, Poe. Once upon a time, there was a caterpillar. The caterpillar lived in a large, lovely garden, but since he was so small and slow, he didn't appreciate the beautiful landscape of his home. He preferred to make his nest under a big bush. The ants, snails, and even the neighborhood cat knew him as Bad Caterpillar. He was grumpy, grouchy, rude, and unhappy. Every morning, Bad Caterpillar would shuffle across a long, flat, gray surface to get to his favorite leafy patch and nibble on some sweet greens. Along the way, he might pass by some ants. Hmm, he'd say. Move ants! Make a space in your line for me to pass. Get out of my way. Or he would come across a snail or two. <laughs> He'd say, move snail, you are too slow and you make a mess wherever you go. Every once in a while, passing by a cat, he'd say, <laughs> The cat would pay no mind. I said, hm, hm, cat, get out of my way. You are too big and you are casting a shadow. The cat would simply reply, oh, bad caterpillar, one day you will change your grumpy ways. One morning, bad caterpillar woke up to the ground shaking. He peeked out from under the big bush and saw a large truck full of boxes and people moving up and down the long, flat, gray surface. Thump, thump, thump. He heard feet running around the garden. With a grumbling stomach, Bad Caterpillar decided to hurry to breakfast. But this time, there were no ants, no snails, not even the cat. He scurried to the leafy green patch. Just as he was about to take his first yummy breakfast bite, he was lifted up into the air and found two big eyes staring back at him. He's so cute, exclaimed a little girl. Look, Mom, our new garden has lovely caterpillars. For a moment, Bad Caterpillar was mesmerized by her big, sweet eyes. Good Caterpillar? Who's a good Caterpillar? The girl said sweetly. Bad Caterpillar blinked. Hmm. No, I'm a bad Caterpillar. He wiggled and squirmed. Startled by his wiggling, the little girl plopped Bad Caterpillar back into the leafy green bush. Oh, what a bad little caterpillar. I hope one day you will change and we can be friends. She smiled and scampered off to play in the large, lovely garden. That night, bad caterpillar muttered to himself. Hmm, be friends? How can I ever change? I'm stuck this way. Hmm. He thought long and hard about those big, 
lovely eyes, the little girl's sweet voice, and how much he'd like to be someone's friend. Maybe I can change one day. I can choose to be nice. I can be good, he told himself, in solitude under the big bush. Sure enough, one day came his way. It started off as an ordinary day, except today, bad caterpillar chose not to hmm at the ants, snails, and cat along the way. He ate extra leafy greens that day. Maybe too many leafy greens. With a very full tummy, he made his way slowly across the long, flat, gray surface, back to the big bush. Bad Caterpillar fancied himself a nap, so he wrapped himself up extra cozy tight and slept. And slept. And slept in a very tired way. Thump, thump, thump. He awoke to the sound of a little girl playing in the garden. Curious, Bad Caterpillar shook off his cozy cocoon, opened his eyes, and began to shuffle toward the girl to take a closer look. But his legs didn't shuffle anymore, and he felt something large and flapping on his back. He had turned into a butterfly. Flap, flap, flap. Off he went up into the sky, above the big bush, and there he saw how truly lovely and large the garden really was. Oh, garden, I can explore all of you now, he exclaimed with joy. Bad Caterpillar saw an anthill and landed on its peak. Hello, ants! Wow, what great work you've done! The ants replied, Thank you, you are quite nice. He flew by a lettuce patch and flapped his wings at the snails. Hello, snails! Hope you are enjoying your meal. The snails replied, Thank you, you are too kind. There was the cat purring along the fence. Hello, cat! Good day! I'm not a caterpillar anymore. I'm a butterfly. The cat smiled with a purred reply. Wow, you've really changed. What a pleasant surprise. Bad caterpillar flew onward, landing on top of a large, lovely flower in the center of the large, lovely garden. Hmm, hmm, he thought. I'm no longer a bad caterpillar. What shall be my new name? And just as he was about to think long and hard on this, he was lifted up into the air and found two big, sweet eyes staring back at him. He's so cute, exclaimed the little girl. Our garden has lovely butterflies. He cooed with delight, longing for her to give him a new name. The little girl leaned in and whispered, You're a good butterfly. Let's be friends. Good butterfly smiled and flapped his wings into a spin around the air. Did you hear that? He cheered to all the animals in the garden. I can change. I'm a good butterfly butterfly now. Now known as Good Butterfly, as he was no longer grumpy or rude, he became friends with all the ants, snails, and cats in the large, lovely garden and beyond. The End About the author Author and kid at heart, Suvi Chisholm lives, works, and creates in Portland, Oregon. Her passions are writing, enjoying outdoor adventures, rainy night cuddles with her cats, and gardening in the rich northwest soil. About the illustrator. 
Italian illustrator Chiara Cordet loves playing with the fantastic universe of children's stories. Drawing since childhood, she enjoys the magic of bringing stories to life through her illustrations. Thank you for listening. You can go ahead and go to this website, suvichism.com slash funstuff, so that you can get your Bad Caterpillar activity pages. Don't forget to like and subscribe.